All right, we're going to talk about body fluid compartments and answer the questions, what percent of the body is water, what percent is intracellular and extracellular fluid, and what percent of extracellular fluid is interstitial fluid and plasma. All right, hello everyone. My name is Dr. Morton and I'm the noted anatomist. So to begin, water contributes to a, a large portion of our body mass. So if you take a look at this picture and you think, all right, 40% of our body solids, things like muscles and bones, and 60% is water. Now this varies, of course, based on the size of the individual and such, but let's stick with this because it makes the math easiest. 60% of our body is composed of water. Now where is this water found inside the body? Well, if we look at this schematic that the cell membrane separates the, the cell from the rest of the body and the cell membrane is a barrier, it's a semi-permeable membrane that separates the inside of the cell from the outside of the cell. So the fluid inside the cell we call intracellular fluid and outside we call extracellular fluid. So intracellular fluid takes is two-thirds of all the water we have in our body. And the rest of it, the one third, is outside the cell. So basically, to recap, this cell membrane separates the intracellular fluid, two thirds of all of our body water, from the extracellular fluid, the other third. Cool? Now, the extracellular fluid is further subdivided into two other fluid compartments. Plasma, which is the fluid found inside of our vessels, that's about a quarter of that extracellular fluid. And then the interstitial fluid is three quarters of all that extracellular fluid. So plasma and interstitial fluid make up the extracellular fluid. Like that, ta-da! Plasma is one quarter, interstitial fluid is three quarters of the one third, and the intracellular fluid makes up the other two thirds. All right, so there we've got it. Now the cell membrane separates the intra from the extracellular fluid compartments. And the capillary wall separates the plasma from the interstitial fluid. That's always going to come up quite a bit when we talk about cardiovascular physiology. That was fun, wasn't it? Let's do it again except with a bigger picture and add some cells. So there's a cell, another one, another one, there's another cell. And so a tissue is simply a group of cells organized for a common purpose. So we have a tissue. Now what do we call the space within the tissue? We call it interstitial inter between stitial fluid, the interstitial space, which is containing interstitial fluid. And so that water interstitial fluid is really just bound to these proteoglycans uh, that make this gel type, right? Now, what do we call the fluid in a vessel? We call it plasma. We take plasma and interstitial fluid. They form wonder twin powers. That's our extracellular fluid. Cool? So there we have it all in a nutshell. Now, body fluid compartments, let's do an example of this. So let's take, say, the total body fluid, which is 60% of body mass. So let's take a 100 kilogram patient. How many liters of water are found in each fluid compartments in this patient? Now, a hint, one kilo equals one liter. So what's 60% of 100 kilograms? 60 kilograms, which is now 60 liters of total fluid in this patient. So total body fluid, 60 liters. Now, remember that total body fluid is extracellular and intracellular fluid. So what is one third of 60 liters? It's 20 liters. And what's two thirds? It's 40 liters. Ta-da! Fantastic. But don't forget that extracellular fluid has two compartments, an interstitial fluid and plasma. So what is three quarters of 20 liters? That's 15 liters. And what's one quarter of 20 liters? That's five liters. And there's an example of how you could then determine the amount of fluid in each compartment in a patient. And that, my friends, is body fluid compartments in a nutshell.